never be tempted to look for money in the ministry. Go to business. Enrich yourself. Make yourself wealthy. Millionaire, multi-millionaire, billionaire. But never be tempted to look for money in the ministry. Amen. You can plant marijuana. <laughs> you can be a gambling lord. A drug lord. If you're only after money. But never be tempted to steal God's money. And yet still many people are doing that. If you're looking for the applause of men, if you're looking for the earthly honors, uh -huh. you go to show business. Or artista ka. Be an actress or be an actor. If you're after the earthly races, earthly uh -huh. honors. If you're looking for power, power per se, meaning to say your motive is just to have power per se, you go to politics. If you're elected as chairman of your barangay, of your village, you're the king there. But never be tempted to look for power in the ministry of God. Lest that I might be misinterpreted. Many good Christians are entering politics not for power, but to serve God and to serve the community, pursue one to God's principles of righteousness. We are looking for what? Anything outside the principles of the law. Never be tempted to, to manipulate the ministry of God. The ministry of God is so, so secret. That's why I just want to, to remind you of this principle. This is the principle of the leadership of GIL. That's why you can see Pastor Paul, Pastor Jess, and the, the pastors the, of GIL, especially those who were trained in the Philippines. You will be sure that they develop Christ-like character. Saint Paul said in First Corinthians 11 verse 1, imitate me as I imitate Christ. How I wish to have a seminar on leadership. <laughs> imitate me. <laughs> but Pastor Paul is already sleeping. <laughs> this is the weakness of Brother Eddie. I was tired. I was tired. I did not have enough sleep because we were uh, uh, derailed in our from Manila and then to uh, Las Vegas one night. But anyway, when I I just I just discern that all of you are so loved by the Lord and you are a recipient of His glorious calling. Whatever the calling is, if you if your calling is to be a champion. Have mercy on each and every one of us who failed you. 
I know we've failed you many times, Lord. Have mercy on each and every one of us. Forgive us, forgive us, forgive us, Lord. <laughs> Cleanse us with the holy blood of Jesus in Calvary. Lord, continue to move. Cleanse your people with that holy, holy blood of Jesus shed in Calvary. Sanctify your people by that blood shed in Calvary and by thy word which is the truth. And sanctify your people by the sanctifying grace of the Holy Spirit. Clothe us, Lord, with your robe of righteousness now. Fill and reveal your people with the fullness of your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, fill your people with the fullness of your Holy Spirit. Fill your people with the fullness of your holiness. Fill your people with the fullness of your righteousness. Fill your people with the fullness of your knowledge and wisdom and love and power. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God's not dead. He's alive. Amen. 